It's 2020 now and breast cancer will affect one in seven women in their lifetime. Um, not every woman will have the same type of breast cancer. and We need to be able to diagnose these tumours in the most effective way so that we can accurately target them for treatment. And some of our research is looking at working out whether or not women with invasive lobular breast cancer need to have chemotherapy. Can we um, stop them from having this drug but without impacting their outcomes? So by looking at the DNA and genetic changes in these tumours, we can get an idea of whether they would have responded to this drug or not. When we talk about breast cancer, we talk about it as though it's one disease, but it's really hundreds of different types of tumours. And my research focuses on a couple of the less common tumours. I work on invasive lobular breast cancer and also on metaplastic breast cancer. And these are two so-called special types of breast cancer. And I'm applying different genomic technologies to try and understand better the types of mutations and genetic changes that are occurring in these tumours so that we can develop rational treatments. We want to be able to precisely target a drug to a tumour type so that the patients don't have to go through unnecessary treatments and make sure that every time we give a drug it's going to um, have an effect on the tumour. One of the biggest challenges that we're facing in breast cancer at the moment is a challenge surrounding uh, tumour resistance to treatment. So while we have a number of drugs that work very well in the short term, we're starting to see that tumours can come back over time and after this process of natural selection in the presence of the drug, they're resistant to that drug. And we need to find new combinations of drugs that can treat the tumour while also um, stopping this resistance from occurring, but also to target um, precisely the kind of tumour that each patient has.